Okay, today we're reviewing the Rubox FRV100 explosion proof air powered vacuum. It's a single Venturi air powered vacuum using a two inch diameter hose picking up bentonite. As you'll see, this material is real ultra fine. vacuum will be able to pick this up no problem. Filter the material so we don't blow any back into the airstream and don't lose suction. So we're using a two inch diameter hose picking up about five gallons of material and again we're going to filter all of it so none of the material is going to escape the vacuum not going to blow into the airstream, but you're not going to lose suction on the vacuum either. So what we're going to show you, without doing any filter maintenance, I'm going to empty the vacuum. You see all that fine dust is what were captured inside of the, uh, the vacuum. up another pail of it. Didn't do any filter maintenance yet. Didn't shake the filter. All we did is empty the pan. Now when you're using an air vac, you're going to want to make sure you have plenty of compressed air. So you don't lose any suction on the uh, compressor side. So you want to supply it with an adequate amount of uh, compressed air. We recommend about 70 PSI or greater and about 60 CFM of air minimum. Currently we're running this on a 10 horsepower compressor, which will give us about five minutes of vacuuming before we have to stop and wait and let the compressor catch up with itself to produce enough. So normally on a vacuum like this, you want to have a minimum of a 25 horsepower compressor. We are running this on a 10 horsepower, like I said, about 70 PSI about 60 CFM. So again, I'm going to empty this without doing any filter maintenance. And you can see here, there's all the material, all the fine dust and everything is captured. Now we did not lose suction at all. Make sure I get everything out of the dust pan. Now to show you what you have to do for filter maintenance, all you do is shake the filter from the outside. That's the cleaning, that's the only cleaning you need to do. And when I drop this, I like to turn the vacuum back on and we'll suck that loose air back up. There's all the dust that was up in the filter. So that's what you're dealing with inside of the filter. But with all that dust up in the filter, you didn't have any loss of suction. So this vacuum can pick this material up over and over and over again with no loss of suction at all.